Hey everybody, welcome to another video from the Creativity Cave by Dina Rico. I'm so excited to share with you this cute little card. It's a little bit of a fun fold and I love it because it's a great way to show off both sides of your designer series paper and um, it is really easy to create as well, which is awesome. Uh, it's also part of a a card challenge that I have going on in my Stamping with the Creativity Cave Facebook group. Um, so come on over and join the challenge and check this um, this project out. Um, and you'll see another example of it and you can create your own and share it with us. So let me show you how um, I created this. I'm going to start with the Nature's Prints um, bundle. This is part of the Sun Prince suite, and it's also the, the suite that we're featuring in our All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month. You can get your copy of the Sun Prince All-Star Tutorial by purchasing it for $15, or you can get it for free with a purchase of $50 or more in my online store. And I have all of the information um, in the description below, so you can check that out. All right, so let's make our project. Like I said, it's really pretty simple. We're gonna start with a four by 12 inch piece of our Sun Prince Designer Series paper. We're gonna score that at five and a quarter inches and 10 and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm gonna score that in those two places and then we're gonna fold on those lines. And when I do that, um, I'm gonna have just a little peek out the bottom and then we folded this up and then you can see that and then our card will open like this. Okay, now we're gonna do a, a couple of fun things. First of all, I'm gonna take my snips and carefully kind of drag the blade across here. What I'm doing is just getting a little bit of distressing on here and that just kind of adds a fun little touch to our project. I'm also going to adhere that down. Okay, then I'm gonna get, get my bone folder to give good creases to these folds. Okay, now what I love about that, by the way, is it keeps your card laying nice and flat. I've got a quarter sheet of Knight of Navy cardstock, which is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I will adhere this to that. Okay, then uh, next up, so my card will open like that. There we go. Next up, um, let's do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to take a three and three quarters by five inch piece of designer series paper and I want to stamp on this. I'm going to take some gray granite, which is one of the coordinating colors of this paper. And let me just get my mini grid paper down because I'm going to stamp off um, the little kind of speckly stamp and then I'm going to stamp your on my mind and I'll do that in night of navy over the top of my speckles and there we go so that'll go on the inside of our card and I'll go ahead and adhere that right away now when we center that up you can still see that beautiful frame of the DSP and it looks great Okay, next up, I want to stamp one of my um, branchy images from this stamp set. So I'll do that once again in Night of Navy ink. I'm going to take this design and I've stamped that on here. I also have a circle. I die cut this with the Stylish Shapes circles. It's the second to largest. And I'm going to stamp um, on here again. We'll do some of those speckle images stamping off first. So we'll do a couple of these, kind of like that. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which says hello there. So I love this because I can use that sentiment um, on the outside and then this other one on the inside, which is nice. And you're on my mind is such a great sentiment for really any, any occasion. Okay, next I am going to take and 
tie some ribbon. So I've got my, um, this is the Soft Sky, or I'm sorry, Starry Sky <laughs> Metallic Weave Ribbon. And I'm just going to cut enough length so I can tie a little bit of a bow on here. And we'll do that kind of off to the side here. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of hold that bow as taut as I can as I tie it like so. And there we go. That looks great. I really love this ribbon because it's so thin. It won't create bulk and thus it will mail really nicely. Now I die cut my uh, little branch out ahead of time for you. <laughs> and I'm going to take and pop my stylish shape circle up. Now all the supplies that I'm using for this project can be found in my online store and there's links to those items in the description of this video. Additionally, I have um, a downloadable recipe card that you can download from my blog and there will be a link in the description of this video as well. So you can grab that. Now I'm going to tuck that in like this and I thought it needed just a little something and I just happened to have this little um, vellum branch. This is from one of the dies in this set. This is actually left over from an, um, uh, my project from the All-Star Tutorial PDF and uh, it's it was just sitting in, I keep those extra items in my stamp case in a little clear envelope that we sell. So I thought I would tuck that in like so. So it just kind of dresses this card up just a little. And then I'll take one more glue dot and adhere this to my card. And I'm just going to kind of curl this just a little. And then I will tuck that in like so. Okay, so there is my card. Now, last little touch, I want to take and embellish with a couple of my iridescent pearl rhinestones. So I'll use my take your pick tool for that. Gosh, this is like the best tool ever. I use it quite a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple on here, maybe three, one, two, and three. So there you have it. Um, you can see my original sample. I used a different branch, so you can just kind of get a cut, an idea of a couple of the options. And I hope you loved this card. If you would like to give this card a try, like I said, join us on my Stamping with the Creativity Cave Facebook group and you can join in on our card challenge, which is um, featured over there. Thank you so much for stamping with me today, guys. If you could give me the thumbs up, that would rock my world. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here in the corner and have a great day. Happy stamping, my friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.